In April 2000, off the peaceful shores of Dahab, Egypt, a young Russian diving instructor named Yuri Lipsky ventured into the depths of the Blue Hole. Intrigued by its mystery and beauty, Yuri's dive was driven by excitement and curiosity. But what awaited him below was far from the paradise he imagined. This is the heartbreaking tale of the dangers that lie beneath the surface of the Red Sea. Every year, countless scuba enthusiasts flock to the crystal clear waters of the Red Sea in Egypt, eager to explore its vibrant marine life and stunning coral reefs. But while some stick to the shallows, others are drawn to the legendary Blue Hole, nestled on the southwest coast. But only those equipped with years of diving experience are allowed to make the plunge. You see, it's a dive like no other, with depths reaching a staggering 100 meters. Yet, beneath the surface lies a perilous secret, a dramatic drop-off that plunges to extreme depths of 1,000 meters. As divers navigate these treacherous waters, they're not just seeking adventure, they're flirting with the ultimate danger in search of the thrill. At the young age of 22, Yuri Lipsky, hailing from Russia, boasted considerable expertise as a technical scuba diver. And as the sun rose on that fateful day of April 28, 2000, Yuri stood on the precipice of the biggest challenge he'd ever faced. But what was his destination? The Arch, a mesmerizing horizontal tunnel lying 56 meters or 184 feet below the water's surface. Below 56 meters, the seawall gives way to a mesmerizing sight, a sprawling, 26-meter-long tunnel connecting the Blue Hole to the vast expanse of the open ocean. Descending to 100 meters unveils a majestic opening, towering 50 meters high and leading to the breathtaking Red Sea. With many describing it as an underwater cathedral, navigating these depths can be disorienting. Some divers have mistaken the light filtering through the tunnel for the surface and swum downwards, only to realize their mistake too late. At such depths, the risk of nitrogen narcosis lurks, a condition where high-pressure breathing gases impair mental and physical function. So as Yuri prepared for the journey ahead, a sense of gravity settled upon him. The blue hole called out to him, promising excitement and wonder, but hidden beneath its calm surface were hidden dangers, ready to catch him off guard. As the diver descended into the depths, the world around him changed. The clear waters turned murky, and strong currents pulled at him, tempting him toward the deep unknown. But he wasn't deterred. With every kick of his fins, he went further into the darkness. This wasn't just a dive for him, it was a challenge, a test of his bravery and determination to explore the unseen. To be fair, Yuri had carefully prepared for the adventure ahead, relying on his trusty diving computer as his constant guide. This device, programmed with crucial data, provided Yuri with valuable insights into the depths he was about to explore. With just a glance, he could check his depth, monitor his air supply and keep track of his dive time with complete accuracy. But even with this advanced technology, Yuri knew the journey ahead was full of uncertainties. Despite his thorough planning, he remained wary of the arch's deceptive appearance. Its seemingly short length could easily mislead inexperienced divers, hiding the true extent of its depths. The unpredictable currents and the peculiar angle of the tunnel added another layer of complexity to his journey. And over the years, the Arch's treacherous reputation only grew as it claimed its fair share of victims, ensnaring them with its deceptive allure. Many divers had fallen prey to its deceiving charm, lured by its innocent facade. They underestimated the depths and the air they consumed, which ended in them paying the ultimate price. But the Russian diver thought that every detail was accounted for. With his route mapped out and timings calculated, Yuri embraced the solitude of his descent with confidence. A bold move, but one that showcased his unwavering determination. With every step, Yuri felt the weight of the unknown ahead. Strapped with weights and camera in hand, he ventured into the vast expanse of the Blue Hole, eager to uncover its secrets. What unfolded next would become a legend, forever etching Yuri Lipsky's name in Blue Hole history. As his camera rolled, Yuri's descent into darkness unfolded. Every moment was captured with gripping intensity from the imposing arch to the depths below. As Yuri descended further into the abyss, the pressure of the depths seemed to intensify, amplifying the sense of urgency in his movements. With every second that slipped away, Yuri's battle against the elements grew more desperate, and the camera captured every detail with haunting clarity, 
from the wild desperation in Yuri's eyes to his limbs thrashing against the water. Despite his best efforts to regain control, it seemed futile against the relentless force of the ocean's depths. In a desperate attempt at salvation, Yuri reached for his buoyancy jacket, his disoriented mind grasping for the distant beacon of hope that was the surface, 115 meters above. But as his body moved in the dimly lit underwater world, the gravity of the situation became painfully apparent. As the camera angle shifted, viewers saw an unsettling image. Yuri's motionless form was left suspended in the silent abyss, a haunting reminder of the ocean's merciless grip. However, the camera on his helmet was found and was still working. The footage from the camera showed Lipsky's last moments before his tragic death. It is believed that Lipsky died after reaching a depth of 91 meters. Many professionals speculate that it was narcosis that got Yuri in the end. According to Dr. James Caruso, the chief medical examiner for Denver, Colorado, and an avid scuba diver, narcosis is often called the martini effect, where, as the diver goes deeper, the intoxication increases similarly to drinking more alcohol. Much like alcohol, it affects everyone differently, but Caruso says, no one is immune from the symptoms, and if a diver goes deep enough, he or she will lose consciousness. Add this to oxygen poisoning, where the gas becomes toxic under high pressure, and anyone continuing to breathe at this depth is on borrowed time. Following the heartbreaking loss of Yuri Lipsky, the renowned deep water diver, Tarek Omar was tasked with the solemn duty of retrieving his body. With a sense of gravity weighing heavily upon him, Tarek embarked on the mission, driven by the need to provide closure to Yuri's grieving loved ones. After completing the somber recovery dive, Tarek presented Yuri's belongings to his distraught mother. Among them was his diving camera, a device once thought to be destroyed after the dive. Yet, to everyone's surprise, not only was it working just fine, but it also captured, capturing Yuri's final moments with haunting clarity. As Yuri Lipsky's final moments were shared on YouTube, his dive was immortalized. And during the spotlight on Yuri's fate, it became painfully clear that he wasn't the only victim of the arch and the blue hole. In numerous interviews over the years, Tarek Omar revealed a somber truth. The daunting number of bodies he had recovered from the depths of the blue hole easily exceeded a hundred and continued to rise. Each life lost stood as a stark reminder of the treacherous depths concealed beneath the seemingly peaceful surface. With a solemn heart, Tarek acknowledged that some were lost beyond his reach, their resting places becoming silent memorials marked by engraved plaques scattered across the site. Ultimately, it's a sobering caution for any brave soul tempted to tread in Yuri Lipsky's fateful footsteps into the abyss of the Blue Hole. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe before leaving.